Okay, so today we're going to learn how to complete a function table. So the learning target is I can complete a function table. Sometimes, though, we actually call it an input-output table. It's just an interchangeable term. Um, but to do this, we have to know what the function's equation is. Sometimes it's called a function rule. So when we take a look at a function table, sometimes you'll see this set up where there are three columns. Uh, the first column would normally be your input. Um, so I could have called this input, but I chose x instead. The last column is your output. Um, I could have called it output. I chose y instead. And finally, this could have been domain, and this could have been range. Um, and the center is kind of like your own personal workspace, and a lot of times this is able to tell you what the function rule or the function equation is. I can figure out what my output is by taking the input and timesing it by 2. So here's how we would show the work. Hey, y equals 2 times my input. In this case, it's 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. Uh, y equals 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 y equals 2 times 10, and that would mean my output is 20. Our function table is complete. Other times you'll see just a two column setup. It won't have a space for your function ruler to show work. They're just interested in, can you get me the output? And that's because you can normally do it in your head. I'll do one off to the side though. So my function rule is y equals 4x plus 1. Um, x in the first case would be 0 because that's the value that's that's given to me. Here's 0. So 0 times 4 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1. So there's my output. But we can do this in our head. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Here it is at 6. So x is 6 now. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. 8 times 4 is 32, so add 1 is 33, and of course I think you can see that this one would be 41. Only one more function table to show you. Uh, what if it's horizontal? It's not a huge deal, but what if they don't give you any x values? Basically that means choose your own inputs. Um, best advice I can give you, keep it nice and simple. I always start with 0, uh, 1, Maybe negative 1 if the equation is not too hard. Of course, 2 and 3 are always good standbys. You can usually do that multiplication, subtraction, and division in your head. What's 0 times negative 2? 0. 1 times negative 2? Negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2? Positive 2. Almost made a mistake there. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. That's it. We're done. Um, if you can keep this straight in your head, a function table is sometimes called an input-output table. Um, if you're given the x values, or sometimes they're called inputs or domain values, if you would just take what's given to you and, and pop it into that equation or rule, uh, wherever there's an x, put that x value into it, and just simplify it, you'll get its y value or output. And if you're not given any x's, Please, please, please don't try to make it difficult. Um, keep them very small. It makes it a lot easier to solve it quickly. Uh, a function rule and a function equation are the same thing. Um, good luck if you got questions. As always, come see me if you need to.